So it's knockout rugby as both teams aim for a final four finish. With the first opportunity for points. That is a cracking start from the Australian number nine. Just what they needed. Job done from the inside centre, of course, normally a fly half as well, so England tie the scores up. There's Parisi again, coming in on the crash ball. Opportunities coming now for Australia, the offload is there, the first try is there. It's Ioni 2 below 2, a well, well worked try from Australia. It all comes from the turnover. Great play on the floor. That incredible flexibility, skill set to steal the ball. And we can see Big Man with these offloads so difficult to stop. And it ends up with Tupelo to doing the easy bit, diving over. But that's wonderful play from a strong front five from Australia. He's on target tonight, three from three for Harrison Goddard. And for the first time in the game, Australia have a two-score advantage. Four from four for Australia's number nine. Advantage off feet, hand straight past the ball. Mercer, out to Lamb, Lamb looking for support. Randall's there to Caulfield, Ibertoy. Oh, Ibertoy thinks he's finished. His second finish against Wales was one of the most outstanding finishes from a winger. Has he replicated it now against Australia? He's in the air, that's the important thing. It's just if his feet hit the ground before. I think his knee just hit the turf. It was a fantastic finish. John Mason, the TMO, of course, will make the call. Oh, I would give him that. I'd give him that just for the fact. That is outstanding. One hand changes the ball, dots it down with his right <laughs> milliseconds before his knees hit the turf. Mike, you have a decision. Go ahead, John. You may award the trade. Thank you. What a finish from Gabriel Ibertoy. Five tries now in his locker in this tournament. Get that clipped up, get it on YouTube, that's going to go viral. How he got that ball down, there's not many people in world rugby that would have done that. Joe Mullis is up to the job, he's up to the task. Mercer, the man to set the focal point. One's going backwards, nine. As the power surge comes on from the England pack, Ibertoy in there as well. The second try is in the bag for England. And into the final half hour of this match, have we seen a swing? evade the target he's made sure that that one counts and Australia find themselves back in front with eight minutes left on the clock come back on setting the focus for the next phase another big hit legs flying everywhere Bayless. Caulfield again. There could be consternation about that tackle, I think. He's called. Cool. He's going to stop play, but I think the officials are going to confer. Go on, take your foul, please. 
Tá. Fê, ele veio para a horizontal. Well, here is the sentence handed out by referee Mike Adamson. Australia down a man for the final two minutes. Has Max Malins got what it takes to put England in front in this game? Got to be squeaky clean. Wait, no hands. No, Stewart stepping up. Tupolotu resets his set now, but Zach Mercer with the turnover. Mercer has the captain saved England. The ball is there for Mitchell. The, head, the ball hits for Tbilisi down centre, and England celebrate a quite dramatic victory.